I'm using my tea. I'm using the snow as a cup holder for my tea. But that's just while I get set up here. I think I want to hold it because it's warm and I don't want it to be cold too soon. But, whoo, let me get my footing here. See, we got a lot of snow for my area. I know it's not a lot for, like, Canada. And it would be way too much for the south, which is suffering quite a bit these days. But, you see, I saw Wild Edibles, and I'll link her, doing an ID on evergreens. And I can take you out to the cliff and show you a little bit. We don't have many evergreens here. Um, it's not so much a thing, but there's this one that popped up in my hedge. So you can see these are just just regular old Chinese privet, unfortunately. The ones with the little black berries, like what's showing right there, see. But what I got here is this. I know it's not a fur, because fur has like much longer needles. But in general, unless it's been intentionally planted, there's usually not many evergreens around our area. Like, there's ones people have planted. Because I have gloves on, I keep having to hit the screen with my nose to try and get it to focus. There we go. So you see how, like, even the, the branch itself is green? And it's got these little, like, scaly bits. that are brown. And then, let's see if we can find a, a bigger piece of trunk that's actually part of this. Well, that's slightly bigger anyway. Got an oak leaf in the way and a bunch of snow in the way. Okay, here we go. Here's a stump. In here. Oh, pardon, pardon. I'm sorry. Not this part, is it? Is it? Not that part. It's this right here. I don't know how well you can see it. I apologize. But there's the stump cut right there. And that stumped top right there has got all these evergreen bits growing out of it. So... I've been trying to keep it shorter over the years because I think it could become a whole tree. I'm not sure, though. But I want to know, is this spruce? Is it balsam? Is it arborvitae? Because I really don't know anything about how to tell with evergreens. And I know... I keep trying to hit the focus button with my nose. Um, I know my friend wild edibles up there in the far north. She's Ontario, Canada, the zone three, but I found out also that Canadian zones are different than the U.S. zones, so that doesn't necessarily directly translate, because they include like dryness and what's your most hot temperature expected in different zones up there as well but they do have a lot more evergreens up that way than we do yeah so i would really like to know what kind this is here growing up in my hedge that probably could be a tree if i hadn't turned it into hedge bits Walking toward the cliff, we're going to have a little rough ride for a second here because I'm on my camera that doesn't have image stabilization, so please forgive me while I walk, and we'll go look over the cliff to show you that 
other than intentionally planted, there's not a whole lot of evergreens. And this is a good time of year to be able to tell, right? So the fact that that one evergreen kind of popped up on its own is not particularly usual. Alright, so we're down at the cliff now. And I'm going to stop walking pretty soon because it's going to mess you. I know it's not a comfortable ride, visually. Alright, so we're done moving, so if you looked away while I was walking, you can look back now. But I just want to point out, like, there's an evergreen right by a house. And then you go down the street, and there's another evergreen, like, halfway down the block right here. It's smaller, but pretty much... You know, down here, here's one, there, 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 here, here, here. They're planted around houses. They're not occurring on their own on the undeveloped parts of the hill, you see. Like, this is primarily maple trees through here, and this is the part of the U.S. that the native trees were our... I mean, if, if you had old forest here, which we don't, because it's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh kind of destroyed its environment for a hot minute there. Um, but if we had true old forest, because this is like second growth forest, it's not, it's not young, but it's not like original growth. Um, we would have American chestnut, and that's a lot of the reason that we don't have old growth forest, partly because the city decimated the environment, like, bad, and partly because, um, the trees that were our old growth forest, uh, one of the major components all died. So, maple, and on the sun-soaked edges, there's these oaks, and this one happens to be a linden tree, basswood, tilia americana, uh, and then there's a whole lot of um, American elm up through here. And we traditionally would have also had a lot of ash. And I just have coppiced ash. And I keep them coppiced because the emerald ash borer doesn't mess with them. And then there's also black walnuts. But as you can see, there are evergreens. And there's one up here. And that... That spike right there is one, but these are all, like, planted by people in their yards. There's a few over there in this, this is a cemetery there. And there's an evergreen up there, but, like, again, throughout these areas that have never had houses built on them, on the steep slopes, you don't see any evergreens at all. They're pretty much just planted at houses not naturally occurring. You don't see them along the river. You don't see them along the train tracks where, you know, things aren't intentionally planted along train tracks. You don't see them on the steep parts of the cliff pretty much at all. So it's just giving you a real clear picture of the fact that we don't have much in the way of evergreens and so I don't have much to compare against. You can see here, even here's one, but it was planted by this house, and there's another one, and she's told me that she planted that and didn't think it would get that big. She apparently planted it back in the 60s or 70s when she first got the house. So, yes, we have evergreens, but, like, not many, and I don't know them too well. So, any input on what type of evergreen that was we were just looking at? Or if you want to tell me what kind of trees grow the most naturally in your area, that would be interesting too. I do apologize for any shakiness. This is not my usual camera that I use. I do have uh, image stabilization on my usual camera. And so 
usually you wouldn't be experiencing the shakiness on my channel. I just can't get close in and focus real well with that one, so I figured I'd use this one so we could see that particular evergreen better. So if you could tell me what I'm looking at back there in my hedge, I would very, very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for visiting the cliffside today. This has been permaculture and a look at our naturally occurring forest type in the Pittsburgh area. Hopefully see you real soon uh, in the next one and please hit the like and give me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.